guys, welcome back as the beer's gone bad. Where the beer flows like wine. We are your hosts tonight. I'm Patrick Tugin. I'm Scott Van Book. And together we form the Beer's Gone Bad. Yes. Tonight we've got another guest. You've seen him in the last episodes. This is JC Hill from uh, Cali Kebab Master Brewer. Yeah. What Thanks up? for having me on here. No Shit. worries, dude. Yeah. Always a pleasure. We are hanging. I thought tonight would be a special night and we'd get into some uh, somewhat high level beer. Pretty excited. What, about uh, that. You want to tell us what we're doing tonight? Well, we're going to go with the Damnation from Russian River. Uh, Russian River is, you know, most famously known for their Pliny the Elder, which is a double IPA. It's pretty much the most popular beer in the world, I would guess, in the craft beer. I've community. seen it across the internet. It actually is rated by a lot of, like, Beer Advocate and Rate Beer as the number one beer in the world right now. That's right. Yeah. Which is pretty impressive. So I guess this is kind of on the other end of their uh, spectrum there. This is their Belgian-influenced uh, ale. They have a whole series. They have Damnation. They have Consecration. Uh... Some other Asian. So we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> we're getting a less hoppy beer here. Is that what it's gonna be then? No, we're gonna we're gonna shift uh, gears here. We're gonna go full on uh, Belgian. So Belgian Strong beers are mostly ale. they're mostly known for their yeast character. It gives kind of like a fruity uh, kind of aroma and flavor, almost like a, sometimes some bubble gum or. Okay. Um, it's, uh, can is we just talk about how we're taking this off right yeah, now? Like it's a fully amazing. corked beer. This guy's going to put you back at 529 with an ABV of 775, so it's right in the middle there. It's pretty good. I mean, it's actually kind of expensive for a 12 It's not a 22. Yeah, it's 12. Is it 12 ounces? Yeah, it's 12.68 yeah. ounces. So what were we saying about the, the Belgian beers? No, just, yeah, the Belgian beers um, kind of have like a champagne quality to it. They're usually pretty highly carbonated, uh, are the really Belgian, dry. Do the Belgian well. beers generally have sediment in the bottom, too? Or? Yeah, so when you... Pour this one, Pat. You might want to uh, save, do, the, do, save the yeast in the bottom. Do the, do the honors. Yeah, let's see here. Let's have a pro do it. I, I would just <laughs> put a straw really a pro, in it. But, so. uh, let's see. Good one go make it here. Damnation, or uh, Russian Rivers, for anybody who doesn't know, I read online, actually, an interesting fact, that they were created and started by the Corbel Champagne Company in 1997. The classic Corbel. Yeah, Corbel, <laughs> dude. Of all people, starting a beer company. I think they're going to jump in here and do it. <laughs> And then they hired their brewmaster, started doing their production, and in 2002 decided that you're like, I'm out. Sold it to the brewmaster, who now runs it now out of Santa Dominated, Rosa. which is great. It is actually really awesome. I think he's originally from San Diego. Is he? I didn't know that. I like the ties back to San Diego. Uh, right? So what's up? Are we? Are, so you leave the little yeast in the bottom of the sink? Yeah, I think even I kind of read that on the bottle. Um, Allow the natural yeast sediment to remain in the bottle. Dude, nice pour then. JC, way to go, dude. They do that with the, uh, the not, not Shiner, but... Uh, Give ourselves a little bit of head here. Like the white Belgian ales, they do shake. that a lot too, when they're really, the ton of sediment in the bottles, they recommend to leave a little bit in the bottle, right? Yeah, definitely. The only uh, exception is the German uh, Hefeweizens. You actually want to drip a little bit of yeast on top of the foam. Oh, is so it extra flavor? That's a, that's, um, no, I think it's just a traditional thing, is what they do. Can I explain what damnation actually is according to the bottle here? Damnation, the act of damning, the state of being condemned to eternal punishment in <laughs> hell. These guys are no joke, dude. Russian River is going to come at you 100% right off the bat right there. That's almost arrogant bastard level. That is arrogant bastard they're, level. They're getting, they're getting pretty rowdy. They're getting pretty rowdy. <laughs> Color on this guy, I'm going to put it about one Bud Light, ten... Rasputin, this guy's about a 1.5 for me. Yeah. It's a little cloudy, but realistically, it looks it's no a little darker two. than Bud yeah, Light. I'll throw it in it, too. I got, I got a cloud, big cloudy beer going on here. Oh, dude, it smells just like a Belgian. I like no, that. is that the yeast we're smelling, or the malts, or both? Well, it's like a it's a byproduct of the yeast, is what you smell, and the yeast ferments. It gives these esters off, which are often in the form of like a fruity kind of aroma, or, or uh, I kind of smell a little bit of alcohol on this, to be honest. I was going to say orange. Do you guys smell orange at all? Yeah. Orange. You know what you're I can smell though? the alcohol too, yeah. This is like a, to me, like the, the very generic version is like Hogarden or Leff. Like the two, you know, the beers you normally find in your, in your, uh, I think Hogarden was one I was thinking of, by the way. When Hogarden. You leave a little bit of the, the, the it's pretty complex. Corn. Cheers. Cheers. Let's, uh, let's see what this one takes us to. say I like Belgian beers. And someone might get mad at me for saying this, but I like them with nice big sourdough pretzels. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> why. I'm mad at that. I don't know. Some people might out there and be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You soft only, pretzels? You no, only no. want we'll do the crispy. with this. 
And I'm just saying that the, the sourdough pretzels is what I'm getting out of this thing because I used to eat pretzels in Hogarden Garden right inside here. I'm not comparing this to Hogarden, Garden. I'm just saying in that Belgian <laughs> Belgian tradition. Family. It's great. I like. I'm not a fan of the Belgian meals that much, to be honest. Uh, just not my cup of tea. You actually um, expressed that to me when we started. You said, I don't want to do Ho Garden. <laughs> don't give me Ho Garden. <laughs> and, and nothing against the beers. I mean, I'm sure they're amazing beers, but they just don't really mesh well with my palate. This one's actually, which is not that bad, which is kind of like Pirat, when we had the Pirat Ale. Yeah, it, was the it same will never thing, air. Because it was 20 minutes, it. it was 20 minutes long. It was 20 minutes long. It was a long was review. A We're going to subject though. anyone to that one. Yeah, it was a really good one. But the point is that I, I feel like some of the the fancier or higher end um, Belgian ales actually they're not so overkill with that yeast and some of the other flavors and the complexity of them actually kind of come through like the fruits like the you know whatever fruity flavors yeah, yeah exactly whatever mm-hmm. else they're going to throw on there this one seems pretty subtle um, for a Belgian I've had Belgian beers that are way more Belgian-y I guess you could say okay coin um, it Belgian-y yeah I like that one you should talk about that one dude <laughs> Buy the domain now. Belgiany.com. Belgiany.com. <laughs> Check out my Belgiany style. I, I think you're right though, because this whole thing with those the other ones that we've had before are really like upfront, like in your face, like check me out. I'm a whip beer. I'm a freaking you know crazy beer. And this thing's really not. It's actually really subtle. It's actually kind of smooth. It's kind of refreshing. It yeah. really is. It's a good palate cleanser. I like it. I'm definitely okay with it. I don't know that I would buy it again if I had to rate this beer. I think that says something, though, that it, you're actually okay with it when you knew up front that you had all these preconceived notions of you're no, going to do a Belgium. Uh, yeah, totally. I mean, oh. Belgium is the ancestral history. You know, it's it's like the, almost like the and it's it's where those kind of beers came. They're like huge, I old that. school beer making I'm that not, country. Yeah, and I'm not saying you know what anything against it. I'm just saying my palate personally. <laughs> It's not Budweiser. I don't like it. This tastes like a Budweiser with some <laughs> yeah. vanilla in it, maybe. Some Belgian-y. <laughs> Can we just refer to these as Budweisers and then add ingredients to make them taste like this? <laughs> That's how we describe it. It's like you put a pine tree, a whole pine tree, in into a Bud. Budweiser. And then added some darkness. I like this, though. I'm going to put this guy at about an 8. I think that this is one of those beers that's actually very smooth. It's very easy to drink. It takes that Belgium idea, and it just it, it does a really good job with it. I'm going to throw it at a six just because it is a Belgian, but um, if I, out of the out of the beers that I've had that are more on the yeasty side, I am most stoked on, on this one. So I wouldn't nice. be disappointed if I got this at a bar. Yeah, I, yeah I'd have to agree. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of more on Pat's end. I think I'd, I'd give it like around an eight. Um, it's high drinkability for a Belgian. It really is. In my opinion. Have you noticed it actually tends to get a, it, it gets a little bit easier to drink as it gets warmer? Mm-hmm. I've noticed and it's still it at around eight percent, so it's still gonna kind of knock your stocks off. This does not. It's not taste bad like by any means. I think I think my six percent just comes because my prejudices and whatnot. <laughs> but it it's is okay. a good beer. They did a good job. They Professor River, I cannot it. wait till we get playing the Elder, and I'm on my I'm on the hunt to find it. I know Hamilton's down in North Park carries it or South Park. I got a place in PB that does it. Really? Yeah. Where? Yeah, I'll bring it next time. Uh, PB Express right here in Crown No way. They're the best nice. selection. Oh, right there in really? Ingram? Brown and Ingram. Pat, the one past, uh, uh, this whole time I was yeah. thinking I had to go to South Park to get it. Well, then never mind. I'm going to, I'm going down to <laughs> Crown down down Point. Street. <laughs> Sweet. Well, guys, thanks for checking in. This beer's gone bad, but beer flows like wine. We will see you next time. Peace.